hello la de de oh. hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is la de if this is your first time on my channel you're very much welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you know that i love you <laughs> if you don't know now you know i love you <laughs> on today's video i'm going to be showing you how i make yam and egg sauce and this is a very special recipe to me and my family because we love it and we enjoy it every time that i make it this is zoe's plate by the way and i was just serving her egg on her one slice of yam that i cut up for her and she enjoyed it she ate it all and she loved it so without any further ado let's get into it all right let us begin to start with i'm going to be using some yam this is one tuba of yam obviously i did not use all of this but i just wanted to show you um yeah i'm going to be using some yam i used about half of this and this is not a yam tutorial but i'll show you how i like to slice yam and boil yam and then i'm going to be using pepper mix so in here i have tomatoes i think there were 10 um scotch bonnets um that's we call it atarodo then shombo we, you guys might know it as chili and then two medium-sized onions or small this is the vegetable i'll be using for this particular recipe and this is ugu pumpkin leaves but these have been in the freezer because we're on lockdown so they look like that i'm going to be using some onions this is another two so it's going to be equals to faux faux onions i love onions guys um and then for seasoning i'm going to be using some salt um seasoning cubes bouillon cubes if you have the powdered form it's fine um some curry and then some thyme you can feel free to use whatever you want to use um, if you're an expert if you're a beginner in cooking please just keep to the status quo you know what i mean um, and then of course i'm going to be using some eggs i'm using five eggs for this particular meal and then some vegetable oil that's it that's it um, i like to say that cooking is an art and you're the artist so if you're a beginner please follow accordingly if you want to get the result i got but if you're experienced let this just serve as an inspiration for a meal that you can cook for your family um, the next thing i'll be doing is to blend the pepper mix of tomatoes and peppers um, and onions and i'm going to just not roughly not too smooth not too rough just there you know I'm going to blend it up and then i'm going to begin to use it this meal i is synonymous to saturday mornings growing up it reminds me of saturday mornings if it's not yam uh, and then it's bread if it's not bread and egg then it's um, akara you know so there's so many meals that we would have on a typical weekend saturday morning but this is one of them and yeah it just brings back a lot of memories when do you eat yam and egg can you eat it for breakfast lunch or dinner I, I don't think there's any time frame but i was making it here for breakfast and i know that a lot of nigerian families have it for breakfast anyways this is the consistency i want with the peppers and now i'm going to show you how i like to do my yams so this is water heated up already i'm putting in some salt and i'm just you know eyeballing it at this point but that's about one teaspoon no almost a teaspoon I'm not really good with measurements and then I just dissolve the salt and then I'm going to show you how I like my yam sliced. Some people put sugar in their yams. Let me know if you're one of those. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, you can do with or without just so it tastes nice depending on who you're making it for and their preference. So while that's boiling away, I'm going to come over here and begin my egg sauce. Uh, mind you, on my channel I have another video for how to make um, typical Nigerian egg sauce for bread. This egg sauce they have levels <laughs> when the oil is hot put in your onions and allow it to caramelize allow it to cook but don't let it burn like me so stay there and stare like i left it i don't know maybe the way it took my attention or something um so stare and let it do its thing this is not too bad it's not burnt burnt it's just like kind of brown <laughs> i'm saying that to comfort myself and so right now i'm just putting curry and thyme and just stare that in now I'm over staring because I'm feeling bad that I let it burn <laughs> um, and the next thing I'm going to be introducing the pepper mix the tomato puree we made earlier I'm going to introduce that allow this um, seasoning to fry a little bit in the oil so that they, they can also like the herbs they can also marry with the onions 
now i'm going to mix it up together and i'm going to close it for it to you know reduce and you see what that means in the meantime the yam is boiling and i want to check if it's ready how i do that is to take a fork and just poke it into a slice see those slices that are darker that the head of the yam and they take longer to cook so i cover it up and i just leave it let it do its thing i'm back to my sauce and i'm adding now i'm adding seasoning it's not fried yet not completely but it's getting there i added two bouillon cubes and some salt and now i'm going to stir again and cover it up to fry some more that was me trying to taste it you know to see if it's fine at this point it has fried a little bit more um, not to my satisfaction i'm going to now add the vegetables see guys adding vegetable to eggs is not something that i grew up with i have to be honest but when i went to school in the u.s uh, my first lady of my church shout out to pastor bola <laughs> um she would make eggs with kale and spinach and all of that and then of course when i went to school i saw that you know when you order omelets you can put whatever vegetable you want but growing up is just tomato pepper and onions if you're like me let me know in the comments but you see i try as much as possible to incorporate vegetables in my family the meals that i serve my family um so yes when i can i do and i do that a lot with egg especially egg for like yam yam sauce but there's another way that i make it with eggs um without the um vegetables that is amazing maybe i'll show you guys how i do that as well um so this i i just um broke five eggs into a plate and then it just wicks is that what they call it is it whisk whisk mm -hmm. and then make sure that you stare and stare and stare just like you're seeing on the screen i don't want it caking up on me i don't want lumps i just want it to be like not scrambled has like big pieces i just want this one to be equal like a sauce so that's what i did and i added some more oil because this is yam sauce and although i'm team fit farm i'm healthy and all of that i'm on a healthy new healthy journey i am very mindful of what i give my family i i unfortunately i didn't even eat out of this meal guys as awesome as it looks um, because i have my own meal plan and all of that and prepped meals already and all of that so i just find that it's nicer when it has more oil as you can see because if the egg is not enough you use the oil to finish it in your yam at least that's what we used to do growing up so that's the idea so that it's not too dry and then you have it's moist enough this is zoe's plate and it's just one slice of yam that i cut up for her and then i serve the eggs you can either cut the vegetables smaller for your children to eat or blend it with the peppers and tomatoes and you know just to get that vegetable in that diet in their diets just to get it in there but that's all i have i hope you're inspired <laughs> if you're a pro and if you're a beginner i hope that this helps you a lot until next time guys be the best version of you bye